really are because of the relationships that we have. Another one of our partners is a, uh, is a, uh, um, he owns, or actually he, he's, a, he's a manager of a, a multi-billion dollar fund. It's called Sorensen Cap, Sorensen Capital. It's over a two billion dollar fund in Utah. He manages the fund. The fund didn't invest into us. He did his own personal money. And we also have an investment banker who owns uh, one of the owners of Hickey Fry Hoffer Capital, which is a New York company. They also have a branch in Utah, and uh, they're one of the owners too. Because you know what? When this thing explodes, we need millions of dollars. Even though I told you we're debt free and we have banks giving us money and all this stuff now, uh, lines of credit if we need them. When this, when these companies go like this, which they do, you're not going to make enough money from the sales to be able to have enough product for six months if you need to make it now to be prepared. You got, you got to have millions ready. Yeah, you've got to have it. And so we have it with our partnership. We have the right people. So I want you to know that uh, that we're prepared. Um, here, just show you some of our offices. Here's not one of our offices in Indonesia, Malaysia. Here's one of them. We have five offices in Malaysia now. Uh, here's our European uh, headquarters in, in in Hungary. You know, we have the whole floor. Half of half of the floor is for the distributors to use. We have buildings, meeting rooms like this. Where, excuse me, 90 to 100 people can go in there. We have smaller ones for 30. We have small meeting rooms where five, six people can get together. And then the other side's the call center, all the different languages, all that type of stuff. And our worst office is actually the corporate headquarters in Utah because we haven't been focused in the U.S., so there's no reason to put money in, in a market where we're not generating money. And so now we're actually building one out. It'll probably be done by the end of January, middle of February. It's going to be a gorgeous office in, in Utah, so if, when you come and you want to check out the facility, manufacturing facility, come visit us at the office. We do things like that. We're going to have something that's worth showing. You know, obviously, we spent the money where we're, where the, where we've been, where we're making the money. So now I want to talk a little bit about the, the structure. Like I told you at the very beginning, one of my biggest frustrations was that my, it was, it was, my people failed and I made, I made money. The structure was not set up for, for everybody to succeed. Now, maybe you're not interested in the business, and that's fine. Maybe you're just interested in the product, and that's okay. But here's another reason why I want to tell you this is because today, you can go outside, I bet you can't find somebody that couldn't use an extra 500 bucks right now. I bet you could, uh, everybody's looking for additional ways to make money. And where are they gonna get it? Work a third or fourth job? Three shifts, work three shifts. Go, go get money from a bank to start a business? I think banks are giving money that easy way right now. It's, what's our options? You know, when I was doing the business the first time, is that right? Sure, please. And when I was doing the, when I was doing this the first time, okay, all my friends they were making money in real estate and mortgages, and the economy was booming, and everybody was making money. So when I was sharing the opportunity with people, they weren't interested. Okay, now you don't want to know what all my friends are doing. They're doing networking because they know that this whole job security mirage thing is an illusion. 